Welcome to the Ultimate Metasounds Reference Guide, Math Part 2. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the clamp, map range, max, and midden nodes. You'll notice that with all four of these nodes, they only come in three different types. Audio, float, and integer. Let's start with our clamp node. This node allows us to define the minimum and maximum output values of whatever is coming in. So while we may be inputting a wide variety of values, we can limit the values coming out. Only values within this range will be passed straight through. Any values below or above this range will automatically be changed to the minimum or maximum values respectively. For example, if we set our minimum to 1 and our maximum to 5, and input a value of 3, this value falls within our range, so we will output a value of 3. However, if we input a value of 0, because it is below our range, we will output a value of 1, because that is what we set our minimum value to be. It's the same with the maximum. Inputting a value of 10 will give us an output value of 5. The map range node is a little different and acts like a converter. First, let's run through the input pins and then we'll take a look at an example. The first two pins are our minimum and maximum acceptable input values. The second two pins are our minimum and maximum output values. And our last pin determines whether or not this range is clamped. With that out of the way, let's use a rather analogous example to demonstrate. I'm sure we've all heard the phrase about using something out of five stars or something out of 10 when rating or recommending something. So let's see what the star rating scale is on the out of 10 scale. Not that these rating scales have anything to do with audio, but I felt it was the easiest way to explain the function of this node. So we'll use our metaphorical stars as our in range. So we can have no stars all the way up to five stars. And for our output range, we have a scale from 0 to 10. Now if we input a value of 0 stars wouldn't recommend, then we will get an output of 0. 5 stars, that's a 10. Now all of the values in between will also get mapped in this range. 1 star equals a 2 out of 10. 4 stars equals an 8 out of 10. Now let's talk about how the clamped input comes into play. Having this box checked is the same as adding the clamp node we just talked about between our value source and our input. Keeping the values from our previous example, with the values clamped, if we input a value like 7, which is above our input maximum, it will be clamped to the maximum allowable input value of 5. Once the value has been clamped, this node will then map that clamped value to the defined range. So our seven gets clamped to five, and then our five gets mapped to 10. If we uncheck our clamped box, we are essentially using our inputs and outputs as a sample to map all other numbers, regardless of whether or not they fall within the minimum and maximum output range. So even if our max input is five, and we input the seven, we're no longer clamped to that input range, so the seven gets mapped accordingly to our zero to five stars equals zero to 10 scale and gives us an appropriate mapping of 14. Now let's take a look at our min and max nodes. These are very straightforward in their functions. The min will compare both of the input values and output whichever value is lower. Max does the exact same comparison, but instead outputs whichever value is higher. To see the full list of videos in this reference guide, click the link to the playlist in the description below.